Welcome back, everybody. Armin Simulator 17 here on Oregon Springs. Whoa, whoa, whoa. <laughs> you know it. Your host with not the most driving skills. Folks, we're back on Oregon again. And, uh, I looked up the episode, but I totally forgot, so I don't know what episode this is. But I do know we're up there in the money. This is the right road? Yeah, this is the right road. I should have used course play, but this thing is kind of top ha heavy. Look, top heavy, as you can see. You may not see. I got the regular load here, and I had like four bales, and uh, I still had some straw on the field, but I, I made the four extra bales. You know, try to get down as much as possible, and we finished the rest of it off with the loader wagon, but. You know, I auto load these bales, set them to the trailer, then I strapped it. And then I took the forks and put the other four on here. And, uh, whoa, strap it down. And, uh, yeah, we got an oversized load here. I don't know why my camera's starting to do that for. But anyway, folks, how y'all doing today? Y'all doing all right? I'm doing fine. Thank you for asking. Thank you for asking. My family. My peoples. Y'all so wonderful. All the comments. Awesome comments. There we go. We're selling. We're selling. Look at that money. Oh my god. Look at all that money. Oh, 246,803. Folks, y'all probably like, well, what are you going to do now, Mr. Blue? You know? Folks, I got to pay off a loan, and I need to get bigger equipment. I'm wanting to get a bigger sprayer. I really do. I want to get Phil, too. But, yet, you know, we, we can mow these other people's grass and stuff. Yeah, I, I think I'm going to do that to get grass bales and stuff. But, um, I think we'll let Phil, too, kind of go for right now. And get us a sprayer. We really need a sprayer, folks. That little one just ain't cutting it. All right, we're gonna take this truck back to the shop, and we gotta get uh, a couple of our other guys on here now. As you might have seen yesterday in the other video of Upper Mississippi River Valley, I had to change out a couple mods, reset them, so. Uh, the hired w workers I'm going right past my turn here I still ain't went in here and changed these fences yet but anyway I went in and re you know I re-downloaded the hired heifers tool and uh, so it reset back to the factory names so uh, I'm gonna be updating the names as soon as possible. Uh, I don't even know how to pronounce that. Frisis. Frisis is over here plowing. Done a pretty good job so far. I'm gonna go back and get the ends. Um, yeah, we gotta start these guys up. Uh, I already got this in working. There's our. Well, we are actually empty. On both of our tanks, so I don't know. We might trade these in. All right, let's, let's get working here. Is that going to start? There we go. Now this corn here looks green to me, but it, it's showing to be ready. Let's see. That's the AI worker for you. What is he doing? That just, that's not going to get it. 
But I'm gonna turn this one around. It's actually set. I'm just gonna move out of the way. I'm gonna let him get turned around. Then I'm gonna get in behind. And hopefully I can get set right. I'll do this real quick. And see, I should have done it like that. I need to make a new. Really? It seems like it's off just a little. There, that's about right. And then do this, do this, and do this. Get going kind of straight. And higher work. Oh, no, 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 no. Crap. I doing folks I have no idea I need to turn that off okay I'm gonna do this one's gonna be right behind me okay now I think I can hire a worker yes I got to get back into the combine Why can't I go in? Yeah, there we go. In there. <clears throat> what we're going to do is we're going to cut off some of this ends right here. And I'm sorry, folks. This was not going away out of plan at all. But that's how farming works, right? It don't ever go as planned. I'm going to meet him or her. That way, should turn around. And I'm going to cut off a couple of these ends here. Well, folks, before y'all get too far or decide to leave or something, I am going on vacation next week. Or, or actually, it's... Well, when y'all see this, it'll be this week. I'm recording a lot of videos in advance. And uh, the 6th, 7th, and 8th, I believe, I will be uh, out of town. Oh, please don't run. Oh, that was lucky. <clears throat> Let's see here. I'm going to let him go out of the way. Make one more pass. We got the plow going, we're going to have to do something about our sprayer. Either get the little one going, or uh, almost have a flat tire. Actually, I need to make a, a, a round no, three, looks like. <clears throat> but anyway, we're going on uh, for my daughter's birthday to have a little fun up at the lake and stuff. And, uh, Oh, come on. <clears throat> but, uh, yeah, we're going to go have some fun. I'm going to try to get some more footage for y'all. Um, don't know if I can or not, but there's a guy up there that's got a whole, probably a, a 25 by 25 foot frame of nothing but solar panels. I've been wanting to stop and talk to him and stuff. And, yeah. And he's also got one of the windmills. So I'm like, oh my god, that is like so awesome. And, of course, right now, money ain't fit. You know, economy's low and everything. 
not having a job don't help none uh, since I got my ad revenue yes folks I finally got the email and I'm getting ad revenue of course it's only one penny right now no we're not supposed to talk about that stuff but hey is this is this a penny right, I'm gonna get him to go straight now we're gonna this truck here is loaded and I don't know if I have this marked for selling or what let's see here we got corn okay so ain't nothing in the blue there's a great demand somewhere for wood chips go figure man we need to get making some wool 5,000 all right, our corn. No, that's soybeans. What's corn? Yeah, these prices suck. Six fifty. Six oh eight thirteen. Blue line feeds. Okay. We're gonna try and make it. Let's see, Massey Ferguson is 45. Oh, well, no, the auger wagon is 1%. Okay, so axle flow is 57. And I have no idea which way I need to go. Oh my god, it's way down the bottom, folks. I don't know if this truck is going to do it not. Actually act like it's not going to. But I love I loved this truck. I'm going to take the dirt, dirt, dirt road here. We're going to make a road here. We need to buy a field 14. Pretty awesome field. That's the way it's shaped. Plow this together, have one big field. All right, Mr. Blue, you're going way too fast on a dirt road. Okay, ain't nothing coming. We're going to go over here. Oh, Lord. Hope these farmers don't say nothing about me going through their fields and stuff. Folks, you probably wouldn't be able to do that. We'll take that some this corn. Probably wouldn't be able to do this in real life. Uh, not with these type of tires on here. When I was working on a farm driving the trucks, we had mud grips on our freight liners. Yep, the drive axles had mud grips on them. Alright, now if I can just stay on the road. This is why I don't play a, a American truck simulator, folks. I'm no good about staying on the roads. Alright, I'm going to turn here. No, it's still going. I should have just stayed straight. It would have been better. But then again, that road's just right over here, so. I looked up there at the map and saw that it was 100%. Uh-oh. One of our combines at 80%. Okay, gonna have to switch back over to this guy here. I wonder which one it is. There's the axle flow. At what figure? Now let's get up there and get him first. And then we'll come back and get him real quick. Or her. But well, one was well, both of them's girl names, Joyce and Sally.
There we go. What do y'all think about that, folks? Whoa, whoa, we stop. My duel will get in the way. I'm going to take these duels off and we'll start. I need to get one of those John Deere track tractors. Spray and we need another combine, a bigger combine. Especially if we're going to start doing stuff like that right there. Yeah, we'll empty this guy here out and then we'll get back to the truck. Sell that load of corn and then we're going to get us a sprayer. That's right, folks. We're going to get us a sprayer. might get it. Depends on which end he... Oh, man. What you stop for? You ain't done. Done by a long shot. I don't know. That's going to be... That's going to be all... I'm going to try for that right there. Maybe that'll work. Now I'm just going to leave him sitting right here. Should be alright. We'll get in our semi. Let's see number four. Yep. Alright. Yeah, I think we're going to switch trailers too. Get it. Oh. I'm gonna have to go back and watch yesterday's video of Upper Mississippi River Rally. Because I could have sworn I filled this trailer up and it only holds 70,000. But on here it's showing 100,000. Hmm. Oh no, this is the one I'm going to have to back in, I believe. On the road, Mr. Blue. I can't even remember what I was thinking about, folks. Got sidetracked with combines and stuff and forgot what I was thinking about. Wait, well, oh man, I turned in the wrong one. Told you, told you folks, I wasn't here today. Oh, I'm gonna jackknife it. Oh, oh, not good on the back tires. Not good on the back tires. Not loaded. I was looking over, making sure everything is still recording and stuff, right? Oh, look at the horses. Pretty horses. Or like, here comes Mr. Blue, get out of the way, you can't drive. Blue line feeds. I'm going to say extra profit? All right. Good to send the train off? I don't know. You know, I think I had a course plate on. If this wouldn't, I couldn't back up. And, oh, we don't hit the fuel tank. Testing Mr. Blue's backing skills. You know, folks, I used to be Mr. Red. Yep. They called me Big Red. I had a 81 Ford Bronco. Man, that sucker was so nice. 
four wheel drive. But uh, a lot of people was roasting me too because I put an Elderbrock carburetor on a Ford. I didn't know what I was doing back then, folks. Oh, stop. Out of load. Let's watch this money going up. Oh, we're watching that money go up. Let's go over to our sprayers. I'm wanting this one, folks. This one's all right, but we can't hire it. It won't hire. But this one here, 250. We'll roll it in the dough. We're going to get it. Let's see. We're going to get wide tires for right now. We're going to get the stainless steel tank. Whoa, 280. Well, what's the difference? Let's just go with normal tank right now. Save a little bit of money. All right. All right, 265,000. No, no, 81,329. I'm like, how in the world we make that much? 81,000. I'm going to that brought that price down to. Ooh. Ooh, that brought it down pretty good, didn't it? Let's go ahead and take this marker off. Yeah, it brought it down pretty good. It's still higher than the rest of them, though. What is wrong with my trailer? Oh my god, my trailer's up in the air. Oh, it's because it's going down that hill. Alright, let's see, Macy Ferguson is 39%, and the 6R, no, let's see, uh, Action Flow is 34%, where am I going, where am I going, these folks are probably laughing at me, oh lord, probably faster is going around, I hope, but anyway, yeah, they was, uh, <laughs> You put a Chevrolet carburetor on a Ford? I'm like, hey, it, it works. It's got the power. Oh, lordy. And, uh, but yeah. But then, uh, a friend of mine. Uh, which one was it? I hate when I do that, folks. I can't remember which one it was. But anyway, a friend of mine back back then, it was when I was like 18, 19, 20, somewhere in there, uh, said, man, I ain't going to, you know, diss you anything on the carburetor, because a lot of folks do that. But uh, let me tell you something. How much money you got? I'm like, uh, excuse me? Tell you how much money I got. You sound like you fixing to take it all. So he's like, "Come on, let's go." I said, "Just have about a hundred dollars on." Me. So I'm like, "Well, okay." So I rode with him up in Missouri somewhere, and we went to this junkyard, and he got this center manifold intake for a 351 Windsor I believe well it was the same as the one that was on my motor I had a 302 boss and the only thing different than a 302 and a 302 boss that I know of is the heads and uh but anyway he uh He said, man, buy this, and I'll, I'll make your Bronco run at least 40 to 50% better. I'm like, well, you better not be, you know, 
Did that man just trust me? Just trust me. So we bought that, went to AutoZone, bought a bunch of gaskets and stuff, and we spent that evening tearing my carburetor off of the, the motor. Man, I need to turn. Let me turn right here. But anyway, we took the carburetor off, we took the heads off, and we took the center intake manifold off. And uh, we swapped them out. And the deal was, folks, oh, I got a tractor I need to sell. Ooh, here's our sprayer, folks. Oh my god, look at those wide tires. That is awesome. I love the sprayer. We got to get to our other combine. Are you still running? Why stop? Whoa, he's going off just a little. See what I was talking about the directions there? I don't know what I was talking about on this or the other episode. But you can just have them going in any direction you want. Yeah, this is what I need. But anyway, we swapped them out and put them back on and stuff, and that sucker had so much power, it sat there and squealed all four tires and four wheel drive. I mean, it just. Oh. But anyway, the, what we done was the intake that I had was on a two barrel. It only had two holes in it, so putting a four barrel carburetor on there was like useless because you know I had it adapted down to a two barrel so we put that four barrel manifold intake on there put my carburetor back on there the elder brock and he tuned it a little bit I had a uh, air mixture off a little bit but man you talking about something that woo, it had the power Massey Ferguson's up there a little bit, so I'm gonna go ahead and empty her out. We almost got this harvest done. And we got a sprayer, which we're probably gonna have to buy a little bit more fertilizer. Uh, we're gonna have to start planting. And during our planting, or after our plan, I think we're going to cut some trees to make some extra money. That and bale some grass. And do a couple of missions for our farmer on field five. And I think we're going to try to get field two after that. That's my plan anyway. hop up here with Sally. Uh, we're going to get these little spots for this. Okay, Sally. I'm going to take it from here. here. Been a nice help. You can go home and rest. I'll pay you for the rest of the day. That's how generous Mr. Blue is. <laughs> of course, I own my own farm in real life. I probably wouldn't be that generous, but Oh, you gotta treat your people with, with uh, respect and and do something for them, you know. And like, hey, I like working here with Mr. Blue, or you know, whoever's out there. Like, wow, this guy—he's been taking care of me. If I had my own company, my own farm, my real farm, I would actually try to have enough people where I have two crews during the harvest and planting there would be a day and night but when everything else is laid by and stuff it would be they work in the daytime of course and, but I would fix it like say such and such been here for a year or two 
I'd, I'd let you know have a vacation and the ones that was the second crew would cover the ones that was going on vacation and you know, when they got done the second crew would go on vacation and you would have everything covered and if somebody got sick you know hey uh, one of the members on the night crew can you come in and start working on the day until such and such gets what better that's how I would do it say I would have 20 people in my truck going by I would have 10 people like on daytime and 10 on nighttime if we was harvesting and planting but during the day you know, I'd find stuff for them to do you would actually would be able to let everybody all to do what they want to do now I probably wouldn't pay them while it was all they would punch the clock and that's another thing I would have a camera on my clock yes folks I know I know but I've been places where I see people come in punch the clock and would stand around for an hour and not do nothing and it's to some folks that's you know it's not right to everybody but we getting down to the nitty gritty now oh this is what I'm talking about right here I think I'm going to put this one back on AI real quick I uh, try to get this knocked out real quick. We're about 30 minutes in. We are actually doing pretty good this episode. Put this in on AI too. Oh, get some corn right here. There we go. We need to take out these trees over here, and um, so we can turn around would be better. All right, while that's doing that, we'll run over here real quick. Get the auger wagon. Boy, Mr. Blue's in good shape. You see how fast he ran across that field? Oh yeah, I brought the Bronco up and I'm missing it and stuff. I had uh I think I was seventeen when I actually got it. My mom helped me pay for it and stuff. And, uh, I bought my first set of tires myself bomber I worked for. At the time, I was just mowing yards for them and stuff. I wasn't driving tractors, but I was learning. I was riding with my dad and uncle and stuff. They was teaching me how to drive the tractors and stuff. And I don't want you to stop. Oh, okay. I guess you're done. Ah! Okay. Oh, I'm on the wrong thing, that's why. Duh. Duh, Mr. Blue. I'm probably going to have to grab one of them here real soon. We're going to hit each other. I'll turn my F1 to help on, make sure. I'm good to go, and let's see, let me get that next combine right there.
Oh yeah. Working out good. Switcheroo. Alrighty. I'm just going to park him right there. Ted, or whatever his name is, look, he's done a pretty good job over it. Circles look like. All righty, folks. Did we get? We got everything, didn't we? Let's check. Did we get the potatoes? Oh man, we got potatoes to harvest. I totally forgot about that. Oh, we got to finish fertilizing field three quickly, and then we got to harvest uh, the potatoes or whatever it is. So I guess that will be next time. I'm all... I don't know if I got a pressure washer or not, but we need to put these guys away. And next episode, we'll rent a whatever we need. I'll check here real quick. We still got a little bit of time left. But I want to get that sprayer. Let's see here real quick what that is. Fruit types. It's brown, so potatoes is. Okay. That won't be bad at all because we get that one famous potato harvester. Yeah, we gotta take those trees out right there. We gotta rent, rent a scorpion or something. I really don't know that it'd be worth renting a scorpion. We might just rent the automatic log trailer. The auto load trailer, or whatever it's called, for the logs. Timber runner. At least that, and uh. I'm just going to take this right here and put it in our silo for our pigs and stuff, food. Ah. Now, I don't know if they have a pig mixer or not. There it goes. I'll tell you what. We are going to sail this spur and that other track. See if I can do this and see if we got a course that way.
grain to blue line seeds. And how does it look? Yeah, we got one. That should take us right by the market shop, so. waypoint slow down oh well that goes on the wrong side there we go yeah well, we'll have this guy on the mower I'll wait for him to wait for it uh, and um, we got another tractor on the baler. I'm gonna bail some grass up. Let's go ahead and sell this guy. $82,206. Not bad. All right. Let me tell you what, while we're here. We might well go ahead and load up. We got any liquid fertilizer? I don't think so. No. We got the dry fertilizer. No liquid. We'll have to get these pallets to see. Now. I'm gonna get two of these. I can go and get these silos here. They're gone over. See, they got the liquid fertilizer right there, the liquid mirror. So yeah, we could get that. That's forty thousand. That's four loads right there, I believe. I forgot this thing holds 10,000, not 5,000. I upped it. Uh, so I can actually get a couple more of these. Let's see, 40,000. Yeah, that'd be too much, so I'll go back to pallets. That should be six there if I counted right. I'm trying to see where our guy's at. Oh my god. He passed it. That little sucker is fast. Alright, uh. Stop driver. Um, let's see what this course looks like. I think it's, yeah, it goes both ways, so. And that's why I didn't get it, that's why, okay. Now, of course. Fill this up. I'm gonna put this guy on a follow me. There we go. Good. If I can get over fast enough. I gotta stop them because that's about where. Ooh, no quick game. Stop driving. He's gonna have to cut across this man's field, folks. Nah, I ain't gonna quite do that. There's a road right here, looks like. I thought I would have one to the market by now, but. Where I need to go. I'm gonna go this way. Yep, that's it. 
But, uh, yeah, I think I uh, feel three and the one that the potatoes in gonna be soybeans this next time around. So we get some extra, extra money. Oh my god, that flag's solid. Yeah. Alright. Whoa, whoa, it's on this side. Alright, drop this baby first, then drop that. Then we're gonna get over here. We're gonna train these tires out too. Sell. Sell. 168,000. Let's change these tires out. Ah. Customize. So, did we get the biggest motor on this thing? Yeah, biggest motor. Uh, narrow tire, standard narrow, standard now. We'll go with standard. Okay, customize. Oh yeah, much better, much better. Um, also, while we're here, let's go in the garage, see what we got real quick. All right. We got one more. Okay, we got I see a tether, baler, loader, wind roller, and that we're gonna need to lease a couple items real quick. Four three. We're gonna lease a stump grinder. And we're going to I don't know more see how much the scorpion is twenty eight thousand i I think we're gonna pass on that right now. So we only got a couple of trees we can cut. We do need the auto load trailer. I guess we can just do one for right now. It's gonna get two. Um I'm gonna go ahead and buy the fifth wheel. Wide tires on it. And I'm going to lease. Let's go back and forth sure and get this in here. Wide tires on it. It's 19,000. I'm gonna lease it for that. Oh, we're gonna lease it. Yep. I think we can get what we need done by the time we reach 19,000. Hopefully. Alright, let's see. Well, folks, I think I'm going to call the episode here. I want to get this stuff whoa, over to the shop, get the combines and stuff tucked away. And I think the next episode we're going to be clearing some trees trying to make some money while the other guys and stuff are clown. I need to check on him. We'll go check on him real quick. Oh, we gotta get this guy home. Uh, our plow done stopped. Oh, it ain't. Oh, it ain't. Jackie's still going. Didn't I have a route on this one? I guess I didn't take it on this one. I'm going to take this road and get over on the other side. Oh, 
Oh, I can't see. Ooh. Let's go over here and see that's this okay it's the loader wagon we need to get it load uh, check on Jackie Jackie's doing pretty good why well, check around the ends all the way around make sure got everything other than that folks I want to get these combines out of the way. Washed up, put away. Oh, wow. I'm going six miles an hour. But anyway, folks, uh, I guess I'm going to end it right here. In a good spot. And I just want to thank each and every one of y'all for watching. Guys and girls, y'all are blowing me away with the comments and stuff. I love the support I'm getting from y'all. I just love it. Uh-oh. Uh-oh, that's our sprayer. Probably at the grain bins. Where'd my mouse go? What happened? Oh, no. Oh, no. It, it does this a lot. It kicks me out to my desktop. There's my mouse. Yeah, we're here. Stop driver. Alright, we gotta get this guy over to the other field real quick before Jackie gets in the or fertilized stuff. But I'm gonna go do that real quick, folks. And uh I'll probably finish field three with the fertilized and then when we'll come back, y'all see me spraying field four. And we'll do some uh, potato harvesting. And, and yeah, a bunch of other stuff. I gotta move that loader wagon out of the way. Right, I gotta see where. Oh, was that it? No, no. Look at. Ooh, look how wide this baby is. Okay, right here we are. Oh. Got a... And smack the tree. I ain't gonna worry about that spot right down there. What I should have done is brought this down first and copied the, uh, GPS off the hood. So I'm gonna turn that off. And I'm hit that. New. Can't hardly see my line. I hope that's it. Okay, there we go. Oh yeah, folks. Spraying, it's going to be a breeze now. Get it? 30 mile an hour. Spraying. They do go fast, but I don't think they do 30 in the field. They do about maybe 15. Uh-oh. Got to slow it down. Let's do about 18. Or 20. Yeah, now I can get this to. Oh, slow down. My keep keyboard is too far over. All right, folks. This time I'm saying it for real. I will see y'all next or tomorrow. Next episode, whatever it is. What is tomorrow? God's country. Yep. I'll see y'all in God's country tomorrow. Y'all have a great day. A blessed day. 
You've been watching Farming Simulator 17 here on Oregon Springs with Mr. Blue. And folks, we will see y'all later. Bye.